Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply run robotic process automation with UiPath. In this video, we will see how to download the file from the SharePoint location onto our local machine or server. Let's move on to the UiPath Studio. Yeah, to work with SharePoint related uh, activities, we have to go to the manage package and we have to download the uipath.microsoft.office365.activities. So once you download the dependency from the manage package, then you will be able to see the activity related to the Office 365 and here we will be dealing with the files so basically we are uh, right now download the file from the sharepoint location hence we will be using download file activity okay so before uh, moving on to this workflow let me show you the sharepoint site and where basically i have kept it the files so basically i have uh, this is something the root directory document and under that we have a folder called dev and under that we have a folder called subfolder2 and here the book.xls this one of the file that we will be going to download in this particular scenario and another file that will be download this is something from the root directory which is book1.xls yeah so these two files we will be going to download uh, in this video onto our local machine now let's move on to the uipath UI studio again here we have used basically Office 365 scope acti activity and here we have provided the application secret key, application ID, again service that we have choose as files and shared and we uh, again we have provided the tenant ID and the authentication uh, sorry uh, something yeah authentication type that we have basically provided that application ID and a secret key okay now from where that we have received the application key application id and tenant id so we have basically created the app registration under active directory under azure portal so here if i go on to the home then i move on to the azure active directory under azure active directory that we have application registration app registration and here basically we have created one app registration called UiPath. Once we click on that, then you will be getting the client ID, which is application ID, tenant ID, and the secret key. Secret key is something. Um, secret key is something uh, that we will be getting from the client credentials. So here basically we have created the secret key and here you can use this value whatever uh, value will be appear at the time of creation of the secret key okay now move on to this now move on to the uh, vi path again so here basically i have created the argument and for that argument that i have created a tenant id app id and a secret key so these three uh, values that I have provided under the argument and that something I have passed here okay now my another activity is something find files and folders okay so here basically we have uh, used these finds files and folders activity so basically we are we are going to first find the folder from which folder that we have we have to download the file yeah for that purpose we have provided the uh, value to one of the subfolder property which is complete folder path from the root directory that i will going to explain you what is the path and there's something that result that we have basically created one variable result and this is something the drive item array okay then drive name and the site url yeah. so drive name is something document that this is the root directory that we are referring as in document as in drive name and the site URL which is nothing but this particular site from for the SharePoint site site URL. Now this is the complete 
this these are the parameters that we have provided for finds files and folders now we have used for each activity and for for each activity that we have basically provided a type of argument as microsoft dot graph dot drive atom because we are getting here the list of or the array of drive atoms so that array basically we are iterating one by one okay so basically we are iterating one by one uh, and then we have used one of the if condition where basically we basically we are checking the target file name which file that we want to download so here target file name is something book.1 okay so book.1 is something here under dev under subfolder 2 and here is the book book.xls now here we have to provide the complete folder path from the root directory which means dev dash subfolder 2 so my file is seated on this particular folder which is something let me which is something uh, let me delete this okay which is something under dev subfolder 2 and book.xls so if oh, so if you see uh, if you see dev subfolder 2 and book dot book dot xlss this is the excel file that we, we want to download yeah so here basically we put the condition item dot name dot to string equals to target file name so whatever item that uh, getting it uh, so basically we are checking the expected file name here and if it matches then only it will download the file so now here we use download file activity under that basically we have provided the item so basically which item that we want to download so this is something the item that we have called it uh, passed it here and then download as of download as file so basically targeted path so where exactly we want to download so basically we are using this particular project folder location uh, just for your understanding I have given a complete path so this is something the path and here basically we can download the file now let's run this workflow yeah our execution has been completed and let me refresh it and you can see book.xls that file has been downloaded onto our local machine or a server so this is the way that we can download the file from the sharepoint location or sharepoint site from sharepoint site to the local machine now this is something that we have done from one of the folder under that folder there is another subfolder and the, under that we have a file that uh, we want to download it now what we can do we want to download this book1.xls file which is seated onto the root directory under this document so for that purpose what we can do we will simply keep this blank so which means it will consider the root directory so basically if we haven't passed any information here for this particular com uh, complete folder path root directory so if we kept it as blank so we this particular activity considered as an root directory uh, consider the uh, folder as an on from the root directory now let me just change the file name the file name which is book one dot xls yeah so this is the changes that we have done we have kept uh, the subfolder as in blank and we have basically passed the target file name as an book one dot xls because this is the file that we want to download let me run this again and let's see I 
okay the exhibition is successful let me refresh this and you can see the book one dot xls file has been downloaded from the sharepoint onto our local machine so this is the way that we can download the files from any folder or any location from sharepoint onto our local machine or a server so the key point is here something basically the type of argument so if the type of argument we have to pass it pass here microsoft.graph.drive atom because we are iterating the dive atom here whatever the collection that we receive from the find folders find files and form and folders activity so this is something the drive atom so this is the key point i would say for this particular uh, activity <laughs> once you provided the correct argument then definitely you would not see any issues so, yeah so this is the way that you can download these uh, files from any location from sharepoint onto your local machine yeah thanks for watching uh, any if it, any if you have any comments please uh, write it into comment box thanks for watching yeah bye bye